Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands in a Radio, where we look at inexpensive shortwave radios and other stuff. Today we're going to look at the Supersonic SC1085. It is a 5-band AM FM shortwave TV SD card slot. Yes, I said SD card slot. USB input. You name it, it's got it. Supersonic SC1085. This is my second one. Oh, oh, wait. This this is a conversation, so you might not want to complain, and you might just want to leave if you don't like conversation. Um, this is my second one. The first one came in. How's that for an unboxing? The first one came, there's nothing in the box, really, just the radio, and that's it, and some instructions. Uh, the first one came in, uh, got it off eBay for $25.32 with free shipping, and I thought we've had really good luck with Supersonic, and turned around, uh, this came from Amazon. It, it's an Amazon drop shipper or whatever on eBay, nothing illegal. I'm not the biggest fan of that. They ought to say that till I could just order it from Amazon and be done with it. Um, anyway, this came in and Amazon had packed it in a bubble envelope, that box in a bubble envelope. That's a brilliant idea, Amazon. Uh, came in, the top was smashed on it. And I thought, well, the top smashed, who cares? Put batteries in it, wouldn't work. Tried it with the cord, wouldn't work. Nothing worked. So here's my warning to everyone. People say these conversations have no point. Nay, nay, I say, here's the point. Be careful. When, when, and you don't know you're dealing with an Amazon reseller or whatever, and there's nothing wrong with it. I, I'm not faulting people that do. But it's a real pain in the ass when you have to return something then because now all of a sudden this has to go back to Amazon. Doesn't go back to the person that sold it. It goes back to Amazon. And then Amazon has to approve it, that they got it and approve the return and all that. Then the seller will sell you another one from Amazon. And it turns into a two week process because there's, there's that third layer in there of Amazon added into eBay. That's the part I don't care for. Uh, saved a couple of dollars. I think today that on Amazon, this might be a little cheaper. The prices fluctuate so much, I just, who cares? Anyway, um, so this is my second one. Same bubble wrap envelope from Amazon. I take it out of the box, and this front panel was snapped out of it, was just flopped out of it. I was looking inside the radio, and I snapped the panel back on, and it seems like it works, so we're going to take a look at it anyway. I apologize about any wind noise. There was no wind, and then there's wind, and there's no wind, and there's wind, and you can hear pages rustling in the background, and I apologize about that. I know that drives everybody nuts, and, and you know, shit happens. Um, go watch Netflix if it bothers you that much, or CBS, or some other high-quality production. Anyway... Do I sound disgruntled today? I feel it. I feel disgruntled. Anyway, I digress. So that leads us to the Supersonic SC-1085. Nine and a quarter inches long, five and a quarter inches tall, two inches thick. It has a 21 inch antenna. Really good size, has a great size speaker. Um, it does come with a, a AC power cord. You could plug it in. Runs on 3D batteries. The speaker analog dial. It's just a cheap panel that I could probably snap out if I wanted to. Again, tuning knob, volume, your selector here, FM, TV, AM, uh, shortwave one and two. On the right hand side, headphone jack. I haven't tried it, whether it's stereo or not doesn't say any place so i'm not going to guess at it and just say it's a headphone jack on the back you have to be very very sure what you're doing because there's a switch here that's radio or usb and you have to flip that switch or 
a piece that you want to go to won't work. <laughs> Behind this door is 3D batteries. The orientation is uh, positive goes to the right. AC plug-in, standard fare. Left-hand side's nothing. On the top, we come back to this, the top. We have uh, play, pause, fast forward, rewind, full-size USB, and an SD card slot, which is kind of rare. Normally, they're the little micro SD things that the Chinese call TF card. And, uh, but this is a full size one and it does have a hideaway handle, which is kind of nice. And, uh, so let's just dive into this and, and got that all out of the way. Let me close the notebook so it doesn't flap around in the wind anymore. We'll put our little USB card in. And I think if we set it to USB, which that's where it's at, when we turn it on, it'll automatically start to play, I hope. That's your on, off, and volume. And it does. Not a bad sound. I think it said it was five watts, maybe, on the box. That's full volume. You can hear it rattle around a little bit. not horrible I guess I'm very I'm very cautious with this that that I don't know what's around the corner the way these things are shipped and having that front piece flop out at me that was exciting not a bad sound let's get rid of that if I had an SD card, you could put an end to the same thing. We're not going to waste time doing that, even though I don't mind wasting time. We're going to flip it to radio. We're going to get the antenna up so I don't have to mess with that. And let's just take a look and see what the radio can do. I would say let's start out FM. Everybody knows the rules, and I'm not going to hover around music too long. Uh, not... not uh, not good to do that for the copyright police. Okay. Not a bad sound to it. We're still, we're a long way from anything important. Seven is not going to work. Wow. The local station. Just in case, by any three cooler, get five hundred. Not a bad sound to it. It's not. Oh, the tuning knob is is stiff and stuck. The last one I had. Oh no, the last review we had, uh, one of them I actually opened up, not the supersonic, uh, opened it up and, and had to unstick the, the tuning string. This is just broke. Well, that's just done. Oh my, you know, my first thought was a really bad word. And I don't dare say that. People's heads would explode. But if you can think of the word that I'm saying, say it to yourself. Because that's what I would have said. Stinklefinks, that's what I was about ready to say. Come on, you son of a bitch. Move. Nothing. 
Well, as you can see, the dial just is stuck now in between there and there. And you know, I'm not gonna go through another another two weeks of returning for a third one. Nay, nay, I say. The best part of the whole radio is the batteries. Absolute junk. Do not, and I've had good luck with, with supersonic SC whatevers. The supersonic line has not been bad. You remember, you can see the ones that were red and almost like a car-like finish. Not bad at all. This shit. Gotta have some fun with it, I guess. Let's see if we can snap this back out. I can't, I don't have any fingernails to get in there now. I've snapped it back in. I want to take that back out so you can see inside there that I was looking at. Yeah, don't, don't do this. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that will say, oh, but I may be able to have fun with it and do this or do that. And it's not all bad. And don't waste your money. Spend it on something else. This is, this is absolute. If I return this, it's my third one. And, and I don't give three chances. I, I'd rather look up there. God, I'm tired of this cheap shit at times. I'm just thoroughly disgusted with supersonic anything. So, rare that you're ever going to see me have a meltdown. <laughs> on, on camera wasting money so you don't have to anyway that gets a flat zero in my book gets even less than zero gets really upset with that if you like the theatrics give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video i don't blame you because i don't like it either and uh this may go down either in the blooper reel or those that are never seen. I don't know. Anyway, hope you have a great day and uh, hope your radios turn out to be better than mine. We'll see you at the next review.